Can you see a number on your screen right now? If not, you might be colorblind, my guy. And I say guy because one in eight dudes are colorblind on this planet Earth. This is what you see, and this is what 300 million people across the world experiencing colorblindness see. I stumbled across this video on Instagram of a kid, Jonathan Jones, in class getting some glasses that corrected his colorblindness for the first time ever. <laughs> So what do you think there? Is it pretty cool? <laughs> oh, he cried. That's awesome. Hey, come here. Come here, dude. Oh. <laughs> it got me thinking how little I know about colorblindness and how it affects people, especially young kids being taught the same way that people who see color perfectly are taught. Statistically, the people that I went to school with, there was a portion of them that were colorblind, and you probably know several people that experience the same thing. So it's crazy that, you know, there's not even really a conversation around this. So I wanted to put myself in the shoes of Jonathan and 300 million other people across the world. But first I wanted to talk to Jonathan's mom, Carol, and ask some questions. My name is Carol Jones. I live in Minnesota. I am a cookbook author as well as a food blogger. And um, my husband and I have six children. So Jonathan is number five of my six and he is 12 years old. I found out Jonathan was colorblind when he was nine years old. Took him to the standard you know, optometrist to get his eyes checked because he was having mm -hmm. trouble seeing the board at school. And they did a simple colorblind test and the optometrist was like, your son's severely colorblind. I had no idea. Wow. You know, he had struggled a little bit with red and green, but so did my other two older sons. More than 99% of all colorblind people are suffering from a red-green color deficiency. If you really just stop and ponder for just a moment, these colors are literally the most universal colors. Stop and go, charging or low battery. So while talking to Carol, I realized, you know what, I can challenge myself to some simple tasks that involve these colors and just manipulate them to look as if I were seeing through the lens of someone with deuteranopia. Color quiz for preschool, 20 questions. Let's do this. Color of the girl's hair, obviously black. I'm getting an A plus. Color of the hat is kind of a ugly green, but it's green nonetheless. Color of the ball, pink. There's no pink on here. <laughs> Wow, that is literally as pink as it gets. You're probably wondering how this high-tech filter works. It's no big deal, I'm pretty smart. We figured it out. On your computer, you can turn on a color filter like this, and it, it lets you see things this way, or this way, or even this way. Try it for yourself, it's interesting. It's a basketball, so I know it's orange. What is the color of the shorts? They're like purple-ish. There's no purple-ish on here. They're brown, okay. What is the color of the bag? Purple, violet. It's crazy because some, <laughs> wow, that's crazy, I got that one wrong. The color of the bag is actually pink. Looked purple to me, AKA violet. What is the color of the balloons? They're blue, and it's not available as an answer, violet. What is the name of the fruit in this picture? It's a pink. It's just like a spherical pink fruit, and that is a grapefruit, or I don't know what other, it's an orange is my only assumption, because bananas don't look like this, apples don't look like this, and I don't even know what a mango looks like, to be completely frank. This has to be a mango. <laughs> okay, so I'm only got one wrong so far. The name of the fruit. I mean, this is this is common knowledge for people like me that have lived life for longer than five years. The color of this fruit to me is pink, but it's I know oranges are orange. The color of this fruit is pink. Oh my god. I, I was trying to go through it quickly. That's heartbreaking. What is the color of fruit? Yellow. 94% of quiz takers got that one right. <laughs> it was what color is this fruit? And it was a banana. Man, preschoolers are different. Okay, I got two incorrect out of the 20. Here's my certificate of achievement though. I got a score of 90 out of 100 on color quiz for preschool. Well, we tried our best. That is kind of eye-opening, honestly, that I got two questions wrong on a preschool quiz, but that's why we're doing this. Only 11 states test their students for colorblindness, but all it would take is like a sheet of paper and like an extra 30 seconds to test colorblindness. It's estimated that at least hundreds of thousands of colorblind students' conditions just overlooked. Knowing that your student or your child is colorblind can be a massive help in an educational setting. And he had no idea that they were categorized by color on the periodic table. Students have so many struggles all on their own. Something as simple as colorblindness shouldn't be one of them. What do you think the best way would be for us to help? Because I mean, obviously we're making a YouTube video. Like, is there a challenge or like, what can we illustrate in this video to really get across, you know, the best way to spread awareness? If you go to the Enchroma website, they actually have a test mm -hmm. on there and it's an adaptive test. So it's not the same, like if you were to take it and I were to take it, it's very different. Before I knock out some challenges, I had to make sure I wasn't colorblind myself. 
I mean, apparently most people don't know if they even are. Like, you you literally watching this right now might be and you don't know. Uh, so you can actually take this test with me. Just watch as I go. Seven, pretty difficult to see there. Two, four, that, this one is very vibrant. Oh my gosh, look at these colors. I actually like these colors together. <laughs> Two, that's obvious. Woo, there's a nine, jeez Louise. It's crazy how it just jumps from one that's almost invisible to completely vibrant. So that's eight. Is there anything on this one? I'm unsure, I don't know. We passed the test, okay. Well, I don't know if I passed, but we're getting results. Uh, normal color vision. You have normal color vision, which means you can see up to one million distinct shades of color. Okay. So even though I got the normal color vision, there's definitely some on the quiz that were not obvious to me. My next challenge, sorting m and &M. A video went viral on YouTube a few months ago where Kedrick Merwin Jr., quite the name on that guy, tries sorting m and &Ms. Okay, cool. And this is uh, the hardest part. I'm just going to move these all aside for a second so we can really focus. So I am red-green colorblind, so these do look the same color to me. If you told me to do this on any other day, I'd call you a dummy butt head. But after applying this color filter, let's just say I was in for a treat. No pun intended. <laughs> because chocolate is generally consumed. Wow. Oh my gosh. Already seeing some uh, discoloration. Actually, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but there's a lot going on here. These do not look like your normal M&Ms in my perspective. Okay, so I'm just gonna begin sorting this. It is somewhat obvious, especially with the blues. I mean, that's actually not difficult at all. There's definitely a few of these colors. I imagine it's like orange and red that just seem to be fusing together. I'm gonna definitely start with the blues here. Yeah, these, this color and this color and this color, I'm not actually sure if these are three different colors or not, but these three are almost identical. Is this four different colors or two or three? That's actually crazy. Let's get the blue, blue <laughs> let's get the blue out of the way. Yeah, what's... <laughs> Hopefully got the, the blurs up. Hey, all right, cool. The green's very obvious. These are green, right? These are green. <laughs> so far, so good. However, I know once we get to these colors, things are gonna get ugly. I'm a little nervous here, because I don't like being bad at stuff. So this really puts in perspective how something this simple for most of us could just be posed as a challenge for people that experience colorblindness. It's kind of crazy. All right, it's still obvious. Get the greens out of there. And here we're rocking with what I presume to be one, two, this is either two or three colors. And honestly, I couldn't guess what these are. Like, I think that's definitely yellow. Are there even yellow M&Ms? If so, that's a bad idea. Yellow is always the worst. This is where things get really spicy, like hop and yarrow. I know for a fact that I got, <laughs> I got this one right. I got this one right. I got this one right. And I got this one right. Why are there so many blues? I mean, we're lacking over here with the yellows. Dude, there's no way. <laughs> I'm not actually that upset. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. So here, You've got this guy, which I assume, he's somewhere in the middle. That's crazy. Okay, this guy represents this color. This represents that color. Which one is it? Did I just cheat? A little bit. <laughs> wow, that guy's red, okay. I just looked at the guy on the bag with my real eyes. Realize, realize, realize. I'm not very confident. I'm not very confident in this. Final answer. Howie, let's make a deal. <laughs> I think this is uh, as good as it's going to get. I'm going to see my results in three, two, one. Dude, no way. Oh my gosh. I literally got, well, I got two wrong, but basically they're just intermingled. I got everything else right. You guys would not believe how similar these look. Actually, you literally saw how similar they look, so I'm sure you believe it. That's actually crazy. It's fascinating. All right, on to the Rubik's Cube. So this is the altered version Rubik's Cube, and this is a normal Rubik's Cube. Let's be honest, I'm not good at this as it is. The only thing running through my mind is, can I even solve this thing without the colorblind part? But let's get a countdown. Ready, set, go. Okay, here we go. Totally forgot how to do the Rubik's Cube, but last night I uh, watched a few more tutorials and it freshened up my memory a little bit. Boom, please be right, and it is. I feel like I just won the lottery. What am I at? What am I at? What's my time? Uh, 50 seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay. My fastest time ever with the Rubik's Cube is like a minute and 50 seconds. I don't think I'm going to be breaking any records here, but hopefully I can solve it. <laughs> at least. I think I got my swagger back. I'm getting a phone call. Please no. Haley's FaceTiming me. I'm in the middle of something crazy, babe. What is my time? Minute 50. Good. Here we go. In the home stretch. In the home stretch, guys. What's my time? Uh, 2.50. No! Come on! <laughs> 
<laughs> Boom, what's my time? Three minutes and eight seconds. Not my best performance, guys, but not my worst. The first time I tried to solve this, it took me five and a half hours, and I didn't even get close. Do we have any predictions on how long this is gonna take me? The alter version? I don't think we're gonna do it. Are you serious right now? Why does everyone doubt me on Seven this channel? Seven minutes. <laughs> Seven minutes, thank you. I'm gonna solve this thing and I'm gonna do it very well. Thank you. Three, two, one, go. I can at least solve the, the whites and the blues for sure. The clock starts and I'm nervous. My pits are conducting the water cycle at a rapid pace. As I'm solving this cube, I realize oranges, greens, reds, they're basically identical to each other. And honestly, I'm not sure if I can solve this. Ugh, okay. Wow, this is actually really confusing. I don't even know what color I'm looking for right now. All right, we made some progress. What's my time at? 2.30. 2.30, oh my gosh, this is so confusing. It looks like this is solved, but it's not. Can you see from there? I can. Carter said from afar it's easier to see. I literally don't see it from here. I'm not kidding. Well, that's concerning. I'm just gonna keep going with it. Ah, these look like the same color. It's impossible. <laughs> it's a race against time at this point, and all I can think about is how difficult this is. Like, it's, it's actually crazy. These colors are so integrated into our daily lives, and all of a sudden, I feel helpless, I feel limited, and there's nothing I can do about it. Literally just like one cube in the wrong place can cause the entire thing to mess up. I'm guessing I'm already uh, behind my previous yeah, time. Yeah, you're 812. 812. <laughs> oh my god. This actually doesn't make any sense. Okay, blue, I can solve the blues. I can solve the blues and that's what I need to do. This can only go here. Did we, did we do this right? We put all the colors properly on? Yeah. Dude, this is so frustrating. There's no way these are all the same color and I'm looking for this one. These two are correct, I know yeah. for sure. So this has to be right. I mean, there's nothing else I can do there. I got it. That's uh, 1356. 1356. You wanna see if you actually got it? Dude, I, yeah, I wanna see if I actually got this. I don't know. Does it look right to you guys? I mean, I Those two look different. No. Yeah. Here. I'm tearing off the entire sticker. Green. My hopes is that everything else here is green. Green. And green. Okay, obviously this one is easy. Like, I expected to get this one right. But there's definitely more. Like these three are up in the air. I, I don't know. We'll just get the blue off real quick. Okay, and there's blue. So we, we at least have half of it correct. I mean, we've got white, blue, green, but the other half is the actual challenge, so. If I get even one color incorrect, that means the entire cube is incorrect, so. It's red. It's red. Dude, I bite my nails to the freaking core. It's red. Yellow? Let's just act like I expected that. And orange. I need to get acrylic nails, dude. Okay, so now we know what we're looking for. We need red on this side, yellow on this side, orange on this side. Ah, I'm nervous. Okay, I can't look. I literally can't look. It's red, <laughs> it's red. <laughs> no way. Yellow. Oh, dude. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Nah, I got confidence now. Red, this, oh my gosh. Red is underneath this. Boom chicka, wow. I think this is yellow. <laughs> yes. We got three yellows cooking up on this side. We might just solve this thing. Orange. It's looking healthy. It's looking good. Oh my gosh, there's no way. I actually didn't expect to get this far. No, I think this is orange. I think this is orange. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe we got maybe we got close and there's only a, a couple misplaced. Orange. Wow. No, no. Oh my god. This is yellow. Okay, the fascinating thing is the fact that I got all three of them mixed up, not just two. Orange. I mean, I got close. I'm just looking for another red at this point. Dude, this is actually looks completely unsolved. Dude, it's crazy how convinced I was. So as we're peeling off these stickers, I realized I can see the colors for what they truly are. But there's millions and millions of people out there that can't. So what we're trying to do is donate as many glasses as possible. All of the merch proceeds from this video are gonna be donated to Carol Jones GoFundMe account, donating thousands and thousands of glasses. If you guys wanna donate directly, the link is in the description. There's also a colorblind test. So you guys can literally go take a test to see 
if you have normal color vision or like if you're possibly colorblind. And there's a poll and I'd love for you guys to share the results. Super easy to do. It's just really interesting to see like what our community is actually experiencing. So smash the like button. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Check out the description and thanks for watching. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to drive across the country using only Tesla Autopilot?